tip. And today's tip is the hip hinge. And why is the hip hinge? Well, tips are important because they really prevent you from doing the things that's going to make your back pain worse or cause your back pain. So even if you don't have back pain, this is a good tip for you because now you can prevent it. But this tip today is really the fundamental tip meaning this is the one tip that a lot of the other ones are based on. And if you can get this one right, then it helps solve a lot of the other problems you might have. So people ask me, if you have one exercise, what would it be? If you had one stretch, what would it be? And if you had one tip, what would it be? Well, this is our tip. It's the hip hinge. So we're gonna show you that tip, but we're gonna tell you why it's important because this is all about why. When you understand the why, then you more likely are to perform the tip, okay? So we want to give you tools. Our goal is to give you tools so you can live a life without any back pain. And one of the reasons we do this is because I truly struggle with back pain for years and years and years. We have a nine step process and through our nine step process, one of the steps is the movement patterns. And if you can get the movement patterns right, you can eliminate some of the problem. So, as I mentioned, this is the hip hinge, which is right here. But the hip hinge is about how to bend. And there's a lot of other tips that are about how to bend. And how to get out of a chair, very important brushing your teeth there was a hip hinge in the brushing your teeth the lifting there's a hip hinge how to get out of your car so these are all you know this is the fundamental movement pattern and, and, and when i train people how to do this there's 20 percent to 30 percent they just cannot do it it's not hard but you have to learn how to do it we're going to do a, a little bit of a anatomy lesson once again so you understand why Typical spine, heads here, hips here, 24 vertebrae between the head and the hips. The disc is in between each vertebrae. Now, the tip today, we're trying to prevent an overloading of the disc. The goal is to make sure the disc does not get overloaded. So if you have back pain that's not going away, it's the disc. The disc at one point in time has become overloaded and started to break down. So really. It's how to bend and prevent the overloading of the disc. The, the, the key is really in the hips. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. So the key is to bend with your hips. So I'm gonna show you on the spine why it's important. And then I'm gonna show you the video. But first let me show you. All right, so here's how this works. This is your hips. These are the hip joints here. This is your spine. The head's way up here, right? What happens is People bend and they bend with their spine. And when you bend with your spine, you increase the load dramatically on the disc. And if you bend and twist a little bit, you really run the risk of causing yourself a herniated disc. So the bending for an extended period of time will start to cause the disc to degenerate. So what we want you to do, and this is the hip hinge, is we want you to bend using your hip joints. The hip joint would be right here. And this is what this looks like. Okay, the hip joint goes like this. Okay, it's not this. It's the hips. So how we do this is we have you use a broomstick. This is a broomstick. And what you do is you put the broomstick on the back of your head and the back of your sacrum, which is at the lowest part of your back, <laughs> just like this. And, what, and you hold it there and then you bend. And what that does is it prevents you from bending here like this, because you have to hold this on the lowest part of your back. <laughs> and what you do is you make sure that you use your hips. Okay, I hope that helps. And if it doesn't help with the video, I am going to demonstrate it myself. So the key is to not flex the spine. I'm hoping that you guys are getting this. All right, so you take the stick, right? It's a broomstick, it's a wooden doll, and you put it on the back of your spine. And what you do is you have it, you hold it on your head, and you hold it down here in the lowest part of your back. 
and then you have to train this motion. So what you want to do is you want to hold it there, bend your knees a little bit, and then you're going to bend forward. And now what we're doing there is we're using the hips, okay? So it's using the hips in the hip joint. Okay, this is a long video, but this is a long video because this is probably the most important tip. So you bend using the hip joints. But you have to train that muscle. So as you do that and you pick things up, you have to use, you have to train yourself to use the hip hinge. It's not easy. Some people really can't do it. So you have to make sure that you, you're holding it on there and then you don't flex forward. And the key is you have to train it. I think I said that three times. It's important that you train it. So that is the hip hinge. If I stand up, am I gonna be off camera? <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. I don't care what you say. So, simple. Hold on your head, hold on your hips, and you bend like this. Okay, I'm not going to stand all the way up, but that's the hip hinge. <laughs> You're laughing at me. It's not funny. <laughs> this is important stuff. All right, so, again, I got favorites. Hip hinge is my favorite, 100%. You have to do it. Train yourself. Get yourself a... Get yourself a, a broomstick and you can even have the broom on the end of it, doesn't matter. Train that motion because those are the motions that you do every day. Getting out of a car, getting out of a chair, okay, brushing your teeth at the sink. You have to have the hip hinge. You have to train those muscles. And again, 30% of the people just absolutely can't do it. They cannot use their hips. So you have to train yourself to do that. If you like what you hear, I want you to like our Facebook page. All right, but also share this information with your friends and your family. Anybody that has back pain, they need the tips. Tips are vitally important because it takes the edge off and prevents you from making it worse. So share it. We're on a mission. Our mission is to eliminate back pain. Tips are important. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram and follow us on Twitter. We try to go live every day with information. Tomorrow, we're doing an exercise. No, we're doing a stretch. Thursday is the exercise. Friday, some science, case histories, and maybe some food. That's it. I'm out. I hope that was helpful. I know it was a little longer than it should have been, but... I want to make sure you get it right. And the key is to train yourself to do it. You don't do it just one time. You got to make sure you can do it because it's that important. I'm done. We'll see you tomorrow. Like us, share us, follow us, tweet us, Instagram us, and YouTube us if you can. Thank you very much and have a good day. That video up there, which one is that one? This is